Hello, my name is Nusera Alam. I'm from grade 9. Hello, my name is Priti Bialam. I'm from grade 9. Today, we're going to talk about Victory Day. Bangladesh is an independent country that gained independence in 1971 through a brutal war against Pakistan. After a long nine months of bloodshedding war, the historical victory was brought to us on 16 December 1971. And we got the taste of victory by being independent. You may be curious about what exactly happened that made Victory Day so glorious. The struggle for Bengali rights started shortly after Pakistan gained independence in, as a country with two non-contiguous territories known as West Pakistan and East Pakistan. The National Martyrs Memorial represents a significant chapter in the history of Bangladesh with the years 1952, 1954, 1956, 1962, 1966, 1969, and finally 1971 through which Bangladesh has become an independent, separate, sovereign state. The independence of Bangladesh started off with the language movement. It began in 1948 and reached its climax of 21st February 1952 and ended up in adoption of Bangla as one of the state languages in Pakistan. Bengali fighters Rafiq Shafiq Jabbar Barkat and many more unnamed sacrificed their life for making Bangla as one of the state language. The United Front was a coalition of political parties in East Bengal which contested and won Pakistan's first provincial general election to East Bengal Legislative Assembly. Muslim League collapsed in the 1954 provincial council election while the United Front won by a landslide. However, the power of United Front was not given. In 1956, the first constitution of Pakistan was formed. The face of continuous students and people's movement, the Pakistan government was compelled to give status, Bangla, the status of one of the state languages in 1956, constitution of Pakistan. In 1962, the two chief characteristics of education movement were, firstly, the movement was initiated by the students alone without any external influence. Secondly, the central student leaders could not foresee that such a huge, huge movement was possible based on academic issues and problems faced by the students. Though the commission classified education as an investment, people had to spend more money. And, and as a result, the people of East Bengal reacted negatively to this report. The Six Point Movement's main agenda was to realize the policy prescriptions of six demands. And by then, in February 1966, the firebrand of the Bengali politician Sheikh Mujibur Rahman ended the apparent exploitation of East Pakistan by the West Pakistani rulers. Mujib's staunch advocacy for the emancipation of Bengalis was rooted in the Six Point Demands, in the Six Point Agenda. The 1969 uprising was a democratic political movement in East Pakistan. The uprising consisted of a series of conflicts between the government armed forces and the demonstrators. The uprising also led to the withdrawal of the Agartala conspiracy case and acquittal of Sheikh Mujibur Rahman and his colleagues from the case. Tensions rose in December 1970 when the Awami League party led by Sheikh Mujibur Rahman won the national elections but the West Pakistani parties refused to hand over power. On the midnight of 25th March 1971, the Pakistani military at the behest of Yahya Khan attacked the innocent people of East Pakistan. Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was arrested and taken to West Pakistan. Before that, in the early hours of March 26, Bangabundu declared independence. When the initial preparation of the liberation war of Bangladesh started sporadically, it gradually turned into a people's war. The liberation struggle culminated in the assassination of intellectuals in December. Finally, on 16 December, the joint forces laid siege to Dhaka and, uh, and demanded the surrender of Pakistan. The victorious nation in the freedom of struggle entered a new chapter in 1971. From here, the journey of a new nation begins. With the victory on this day, different countries of the world recognized Bangladesh and Bangladesh gained the status of an independent and sovereign state. Therefore, the Victory Day is a day of pride and glory for the nation. Thank you very much.